Hello, welcome to all. Today we have discussed about the point on a vehicle maintenance. Simple. Uh, in our vehicle maintenance, there are uh, different types of vehicle maintenance in this. So we have discussed about this point one by one. So uh, first, uh, types of maintenance. Generally, maintenance can be done in the following four ways. First, regular maintenance. Second, breakdown maintenance. Third, preventive maintenance. And fourth, total productive maintenance. Right? These are the four types of maintenance in vehicle. Regular maintenance, breakdown maintenance, then preventive maintenance and total productive maintenance. So one by one we have taken as, okay? First, preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance means doing something before the machine or equipment or the vehicle breakdown. Means simple the uh, simple the meaning is this: you have to maintain your vehicle right before the breakdown of your vehicle right. Means uh, you have to check your uh, oil, then air pressure, then you have to check the pressure of diesel pump right then you have to check your uh, brake uh, brake oils right so these are the simple preventive maintenance so first preventive maintenance preventive prevention without breakdown or without giving trouble on road some attention or maintenance taken to the vehicle is called as preventive maintenance right simple we have discussed in this uh, without giving the trouble of your car, right? You have to maintain your vehicle uh, before the breakdown, right? So that simple maintenance is called as preventive maintenance. It intends to reduce or totally eliminate breakdown or sorry breakdown and accidents due to mechanical failure and reduces repair cost, right? Simple. Uh, you have to uh, uh, preventive maintenance of your vehicle that time you have to eliminate your breakdown and accident uh, incident right in your vehicle right because you have to previously work on that point right if you have ch not checked your brake oil right and that brake oil will be uh, totally uh, empty right your breakdown uh, bottle is totally empty right that time you have to know when we are applying the brakes that time the brake will will, will not be applied right or something the brake uh, brake system will be failure right but you have to check before driving the vehicle and you have to check the uh, brake oil of your vehicle and you have to see that your bottle of brake uh, oil right that is empty so you have to fill that uh, bottle right of your vehicle or pot of your vehicle uh, vehicle pot uh, break uh, breaking oil pot right then then you have to eliminate that uh, breakdown element or accident uh, incident right so that is simple prevention is uh, before the breakdown or the accident incident right so you have to check your uh, preventive maintenance. Huh? So, good preventive maintenance program lead to following advantages. First, reduce the breakdown the vehicle. Increase safety due to reduce breakdown. Right? Means, uh, reduce the breakdown of vehicle. Means, you have to previously check your vehicle. That time, you have to reduce the breakdown of vehicle. Right? that increase safety due to reduce breakdown okay when you have to check your uh, vehicle uh, maintenance before you have to start the vehicle that time you have to increase your safety right you, uh, you have to reduce the breakdown right you have to reduce the breakdown means you have to uh, increase the safety of your vehicle then less expenses on repair when you have to preventive maintenance done in your vehicle that time uh, uh, major problem not be identified right because you have to check that problem in uh, earlier then you have to solve that problem earlier so that you have to less expenses on repairs 
good control on inventory of spare parts right uh, when you have to uh, uh, change your oil uh, engine oil differential oil then uh, you have to check the gearbox oil right or you have to check brake oil right when you have to check earlier that time you have spares are good in condition right so that good, good control on inventory of spare part so lesser number of equipments are required right uh, prevent uh, preventive maintenance there are less uh, comp equipments are used means you have to check uh, uh, brake oil then uh, you have to check uh, tire pressure then you have to check uh, uh, oil uh, in a engine right so that you have to uh, small equipments or uh, less equipments in your preventive maintenance so these are the simple advantages of preventive maintenance then next is <coughs> breakdown maintenance breakdown maintenance is a situation which is to be provided when the motor vehicle becomes immobilized due to fault created during running right breakdown maintenance means uh, your vehicle is not a condition to travel right that condition is simple uh, is known as uh, the you have to use the uh, maintenance or you have to use the you have to call your mechanics for the uh, <coughs> Uh, you have to check that uh, uh, the mechanical check your vehicle and start the vehicle so uh, be, uh, that condition is the uh, your vehicle uh, immobilized right so that condition is called as a breakdown maintenance okay these faults are started difficulties punctured electrical faults carburetor and fuel supply fault overheating fan belting breakage and uh, accident etc right means uh, you have to not check uh, the uh, vehicle uh, vehicle brake oil or gear oil or differential uh, then uh, gearbox right then you if if the uh, engine oil is, or in engine sum the oil is empty that time the uh, engine is not running properly or that engine is seized so that time your vehicle will be stopped so you have to start your vehicle right for uh, you have to uh, call the mechanic and he will be start the uh, he will be start the your vehicle that maintenance is known as breakdown maintenance right so uh, third is periodic maintenance periodic maintenance or operative maintenance is attention provided attention provided to motor vehicles after in operation for a specified time or covered distance periodic maintenance means uh, you have to uh, simple uh, if uh, you have mm, in a vehicle you have to check uh, tire rotation of th uh, 30 uh, 30000 kilometer you have to tire rotation then you have to check uh, uh, your battery uh, battery water in a 1000 uh, sorry 150 50000 kilometer then you have to check uh, your uh, uh, sorry uh, in 3 months you have to check your oil oil or if if he, he if the uh, oil is uh, empty or you have to add some uh, oil then you have to check this so uh, periodic maintenance means you have to schedule some uh, some kind of uh, parts right or you have to check the oil then fluid then your uh, water of uh, sorry in your uh, simple so that maintenance is known as a periodic maintenance then next uh, simple uh, you have to see that maintenance the maintenance are the mainly classified into two ways preventive maintenance and corrective maintenance okay uh, so uh, that uh, before a detected fault and after the detected fault before the detected fault, uh, fault is preventive maintenance and after detected the fault is a corrective maintenance we, or uh, it is also called as a uh, breakdown maintenance so in preventive maintenance condition based maintenance then predetermined maintenance okay in condition based maintenance scheduled continuous or on request right then predetermined maintenance uh, scheduled maintenance then corrective maintenance is deferred and immediate okay then uh, what kind of maintenance you have to check in your vehicle right without any uh, any kind of rupees you have to uh, 
expenditure on your vehicle right so check tire pressure then rotate your tires check uh, check and change your oil check and feel your fluid level then replace air filter or fuses changing bulbs and lights then change a flat tire jump starts a car right then simple uh, checking tire pressure some newer newer car will alert you when your tire pressure is low by displaying it on the dashboard it is also a very convenient way to check your tire pressure next uh, changing the tire right yeah changing the tire uh, if you if you have to check your tire uh, in a, in your four wheeler there have some uh, some of one tire is a earlier burn right or slightly uh, burn so you have to change your tire with the uh, extra tire right so then uh, uh, next is a jump starting a car right jump starting a car means secure, securely clamp one end of the negative jumper cable to the negative terminal to the good battery right so that is simple securely you have to change change the uh, the battery connections right so when you have checked the battery connection that you have to uh, uh, jump starting of a car will be uh, controlled right so uh, simple thank you uh, for this okay next lecture we have to start next point